Hi, my name is Matthew Moniz and I was invited to Detroit, Michigan on behalf of Ford for a two-day conference. And on the second day, I got to test drive, or more like test ride, in Ford's new Ford Fusion Autonomous Vehicle or self-driving car. It's a level four self-driving vehicle, which means the car is completely capable of driving itself in any environment. However, human intervention may be required in certain circumstances. This is one level away from being completely autonomous with no steering wheel, no gas or brake pedals, and no human intervention. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to film inside the car, but once I got in, I was greeted by two of Ford's engineers. One engineer sat in the driver's seat with his hands slightly off the wheel in case he needed to intervene, and the other engineer was on a laptop that provided visuals from the car's sensory systems. The system uses existing maps to locate roads, stop signs, and landmarks. Another map is then used to detect any changes that might occur while driving. The benefit according to Ford is that by having an existing map, you already have the information, and if something different happens, the cameras can focus on the new object. In addition, the system uses LiDAR, which uses lasers that project 360 degrees to gather information and radar to project radio waves. With three sensors working together, it's a lot easier to correctly identify the environment and any incoming objects. With that being said, the drive itself was very conservative. For example, we approached a parked car in the middle of the road and usually a normal driver would just go around, but the self-driving car stopped and waited and didn't know what to do. The driver had to take over, maneuver around the parked car, then give back control to the self-driving system. There's little scenarios like this that need to be fine-tuned and accounted for before putting these cars on the road. Also, it's quite clear that the car isn't ready to take on main roads either as the entire test drive was done on Ford's campus going 30 miles per hour. At one point, we drove by a jogger who was approaching us from the opposite direction and my driver immediately took control of the car to ensure that the car didn't do anything it wasn't supposed to do. In all fairness, this is still the mid stages of autonomous driving and Ford doesn't expect to have any of these vehicles on the road until 2021. At first, they won't be available to be purchased for personal use, but instead offered as a ride sharing service. However, Ford does say that personal vehicles should come shortly after. Now, as conservative as the drive was, it's quite clear that we're not too far off to be chauffeured by self-driving cars. As exciting or scary as this may sound, the benefits, lives saved, and cost savings are huge. Ford, which is 113 years old, is making this happen by transitioning themselves from a traditional automaker to a company that provides mobility services. The bottom line is I can't wait to see what happens over the next five years as the automotive industry is in complete disruption and I can't wait to see what comes out of it. So that wraps up my quick look into Ford's autonomous self-driving vehicle. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. Are you guys scared or excited for self-driving cars in the near future. I know I am, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Thank you Ford for having me out and thank you everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.